Britain added Vladimir Putin's younger lover and his his ex-wife to its Ukraine sanctions list today as it tightened the economic noose around his shady inner circle. Elena Kabiva, 39, a retired Olympic gymnast believed to be the depot's mistress, has been subjected to economic restrictions alongside Ludmila Akaretnaya, who was married to the tyrant, 69, until 2014. The Foreign Office said Friday's announcement of further measures would see members of Mr Putin's close and inner circle hit as the UK government continues to seek new ways of punishing Moscow for its invasion of Ukraine. Mr Putin's official assets are modest, according to the Foreign Office, with his lifestyle funded by a cabal of family, friends and elites. Foreign Secretary Liz Truss said, We are exposing and targeting the shady network propping up Putin's luxury lifestyle and tightening the vice on his inner circle. We will keep going with sanctions on all those aiding and abetting Putin's aggression until Ukraine prevails. Kabiva has risen to become chair of the board of the National Media Group, reportedly the largest private Russian media company. She is, is alleged to have a close personal relationship with Mr. Putin, and previously sat as a deputy in the Duma for Mr. Putin's United Russia. Those newly placed on the sanctions list, which has grown to more than 1,000 individuals and 100 entities, also include Dakaretnaya, the former First Lady of the Russian Federation. Since her divorce from the president in 2014, she has benefited from preferential business relationships with state-owned entities, officials said. Igor Putin, a first cousin of the leader and director of Pechinga International Seaport, has been targeted, along with Mikhail Putin, another businessman and relative who is deputy chairman of the management board of energy giant Gazprom. Roman Putin, a first cousin once removed has been publicly open about his relation to the president and emphasizes how this family connection enabled his company, Putin Consulting, to help foreign investors in Russia, the Foreign Office said when sanctioning him. Official records list the Kremlin leader's assets as being fairly unnoteworthy, including a small flat in St. Petersburg, two Soviet-era cars from the 1950s, a trailer, and a small garage. But UK aid said that in reality the 69-year-old relies on his wallet of family, childhood friends, along with a hand-picked set of elites who have benefited from his rule and in turn support his lifestyle. The reward for such people is influence over the affairs of the Russian state that goes far beyond their formal positions, the Foreign Office said. Despite officially owning few assets, Mr. Putin is said to have displayed a lavish lifestyle with the Whitehall Department pointing to reports exposing links to a £566 million yacht and a £1 billion Putin palace, officially owned by close associate, Arkady Rottenberg, who was sanctioned in December 2020.